Hey guys, Buffer Game Bad today we're in a video and today we're going over Arena Breakout Infinite news from Gamescom 2024. Some huge news here for console players and the release of the game. So jumping into it, you're gonna see some armory gameplay in the background with this Justin and I the other day. This was our very first time running through this, and it was pretty terrifying in the forbidden zone. So you're paying a lot of money just to get in there and you need to run a pretty geared up kit. So it was uh, pretty, my heart was pounding to say the least. But jumping into the news we have here for the game. First off, the full release of the game is going to be coming end of this year, 2024. Right now, we're still in um, early access for the game for Arena Breakout Infinite on PC. But the full release will be coming by the end of this year at some, some time. They don't give us a an actual date yet, but they did give us before the end of the year. So... What to expect from the full release. They did release a trailer, which I'll try and link that down below. Otherwise, just go check out their social media channels or their YouTube um, for that trailer. But the full release, to you. To you. what are we going to see from the game here before the end of the year? We're going to see a new map called TV Station. So that'll be nice to see. Does give me uh, COD, COD vibes, COD 4 vibes, a little bit of Warzone vibes, just with the name being TV Station. And the, the preview image they show, just a typical like news desk but i'm sure it'll be i'm guessing there will be some similarities but also very different we're gonna have a new character that being a female operator so i think that's pretty cool to see that in the game and i'm sure that'll come with some new gear and a lot of stuff like that which we'll get into new game modes not sure what those game modes are going to be yet but there will be new game modes and there's going to be new weapons and gear so going back to the new operator we're going to see a lot more game sure helmets vests tack rigs all that stuff there should be a lot more of that when the game fully launches into the year, as well as the female operator. We're also going to see new weapons. Now, the mobile version of the game does have weapons that the pre or the early access version on PC does not. That being uh, weapons like the M249 saw, I think the RPD, and some others. So I'm expecting to see some of those weapons come in Season 1. I would like to see... Um, a few weapons per season for this game and i have a wish list that i'll probably end up doing here within the next week for this game that i want to see for weapons um different optics attachments things like that because there is still a lot of opportunity to add a good amount of content to this game and i think that's how you also take advantage of the free to play aspect of this is a lot of it should be earnable but again it's custom skins things like that um you can do that or even some shortcut ways down the road for bundles after the game has been out long enough i think is a good way with the season pass also similar to what we see with call of duty warzone being free to play um the way they do their season pass is it's all pretty much earnable all the new weapons things like that or you pay for the bundle for the pass itself and get all that up front or however you want to do it more content so there's a lot of things to get into with that which i'll do in a future video but that's everything for full release of the game. By the end of this year, we're going to have a new map TV station, female operator, new game modes, and new weapons and gear. So that's big. The next bit, bit of news here is regarding uh, console players. So there's a big news here being that this will be coming to consoles at some point. Not sure when that's going to be. I'm assuming that'll probably be sometime next year. However, I believe this console... The console uh, game itself has probably been planned for some time now, and they're just now announcing this here at Gamescom. So I suspect it's probably further along than than they're letting on because this was originally a mobile game. The demand for that made it into a PC game with Arena Breakout Infinite, and you're going to see Arena Breakout Infinite now coming to consoles. So I think the demand, they are, we're well aware of the demand, everyone. If you look at historically Tarkov videos and things like that, Everyone's always asking, is this going to be available on console, console? So now you have something that will be available on console, that being Arena Breakout Infinite. Now, they have not announced if they're going to do crossplay between consoles and PC, but they did do a poll about it on their Twitter account. So that will, I doubt it will have influence, but it may. I'm sure there will be a way to opt in to, con to uh, crossplay if you wanted to. Um, into the future so that was pretty much 50 50 split is what the uh the poll itself showed with just a little bit over six thousand votes so still i mean not a large sample size for sure i would like to see i would like to see it optional if you wanted to play with pc players you could opt in otherwise mainly console to console um and pc players would be pc players unless a console player opts in and, and you you're you're squatted up something like that but 
I think this is big news because, again, everyone's been waiting for extraction shooters like Escape from Tarkov to come to console. So now you're going to have not only Delta Force Hawk Ops, you're also going to have Arena Breakout Infinite. So both of those should be here. Um, Delta Force Hawk Ops probably earlier or sooner than Arena Breakout Infinite. But we'll have to wait and see what the timeline is going to be for both of those. Pretty big news, though. Um, I think this is big for console players just because they've we've kind of stood by for years and just watched all the good titles go to PC. Um, and finally, I think some some studios here are realizing that there's a huge market on the console on the consoles for these types of games. I think we saw it with the Insurgency Sandstorm coming over to consoles, and now we're seeing it with Delta Force Hawk Ops, and we're going to see it here with Arena Breakout Infinite on console. So that's going to be huge for console players, specifically the extraction modes, I think it's going to just be massive. Um, so all of you guys who have really wanted to play Escape from Tarkov, Arena Breakout Infinite will be your thing. And that I think also goes to show you have a very similar, not quite as advanced uh, button layout or I guess keybinds as you do with Tarkov, but it can be done and I think they'll do a good job with it. I think Call of Duty uh, Blackout really showed as far as backpack and inventory system how you could do that. So I'm excited to see what that looks like, both Delta Force and Arena Breakout Infinite. Two very different games. I don't think they need to compete against each other. They both fill their own niche. I think Arena Breakout Infinite fills the Tarkov niche, and Delta Force Hawk Ops fills more of the DMZ niche, which is really good to see. So um, that's really big. The next bit of news that has come out of Gamecom so far, Gamescom so far, is um, a really cool AI um, news here. That being... There's going to be an AI that they're going to be introducing into the game, um, which is which is introduced. We're excited to introduce F U C U L F A C U L. So Fakuula, I suppose, is how you would pronounce that. Um, it's an AI technology developed by More Fun Studios. So since Arena Breakout Infinite is still in the early stages, um, they've decided to integrate AI into the game. So this is this is basically the world's first voice command FPS AI. Um, using advanced generative AI-like voice technology um, recognition. So this you'll be able to play with AI teammates, essentially, and communicate with them and give them commands. So this is still very early stages. Again, there's a video posted over on their X account and their YouTube if you want to check out more of that. But I think the big news here is full release in sometime before the end of 2024, and you're going, you have confirmation of console release, potential cross-play here, for Arena Breakout Infinite. So let me know your thoughts down below about this. This is huge news. Big shout out to the console players. I recently updated two PCs specifically for Arena Breakout Infinite and Delta Force Hawk Ops because I did have early access to both and I didn't want to wait around. But again, this is really good news because I'm kind of my PC is a desktop, so it's kind of stuck in one place in my office. But with a console, I can move around um, if I'm traveling and I can play those games. I think that's one thing I really miss about console gaming is being able to take my whole entire rig with me um, and set it up easily. So let me know your thoughts down below. Big win for the console community here with Arena Breakout Infinite coming to consoles sometime in the near future. We do not have a date yet, but again, I don't think it'll be as long as people may suspect. I think we'll see it probably before spring 2025 would be my guess. But let me know your thoughts down below. Till next time, this is Buffner Gaming with Arena Breakout Infinite. Huge news here coming out of Gamescom 2024. Till next time, Buffner Gaming out.